And here we are with the uh, next video, or maybe the first video, depending on how I release these videos. You will find out. Uh, still wearing a Koji Wakamatsu shirt, and this is still very far away from what we're gonna talk about today, because we're gonna talk about a uh, Boku no Ohi Sama. I hope that's right. I always get confused with the he, but maybe he. Um, in English it's called My Sunshine, and uh, by the way, this is the Compendium of Discomfort. I am Michael. Uh, welcome. Um, it's a very, very nice movie. It uh, looks gorgeous. Yeah, it's uh, absolutely stunning, and uh, here we have these three main actors of this story. Um, yeah, and uh, these actors are, namely, um, Keitatsu Koshiyama, that's the boy, um, then we have Nakanishi Kiara, that's the girl, they both don't really have much acting experience, I mean they're children, and then we have Sosuke Ikematsu, you know the guy in Baby Assassin's Nice Days who just keeps killing people for fun, and some moments in this movie I wished he would kill people as well. So um, he doesn't. He's a very nice, friendly person in this movie. But uh, yeah, you might know him from other family-friendly movies like Killing or Shin Kamen Rider. Uh, yeah. And then we have in a smaller role uh, Ryuya Wakabe. You might know him from uh, stuff like Call Me Chihiro or Guns. Uh, and uh, over the town, other stuff. Yes, a relatively small part in this movie. Important are these three actors I mentioned before, and the director is Hiroshi Okuya, who is maybe most well known for the Netflix show, the Makanai, uh, Cooking for the Maiko House, um, which is a show by Hirokazu Koreeda, and he directed some episodes there. And now this is... Uh, his first big um, full-length movie. He did some other stuff. Uh, one is called uh, Jesus, but um, yeah, one is called Tokyo 2001, 10, 21, and then there's some time that's a short movie. So he didn't really do much before, and now this one showed up. Uh, it was praised all over the place. Um, it's a Japanese-French co-production, so it's maybe a little bit atypical for the generic uh, Japanese drama, and that's very good. So, that much ahead, it's a very, very good movie. If I say a very good movie, that means in this context, very good is 5 out of 5, because we don't have an extra rating for masterpieces, as uh, you hopefully know, and you're not confused why I say all, give all the time the highest ratings, because it just means it's very good. Um, here, a uh, little bit spoiler-free content, uh, story, and so on. It's about a little boy who plays baseball and is not very good at it because he's too distracted by the first snow. So, because the winter is coming, like uh, in this strange TV show that I didn't really watch, um... Uh, he starts to play ice hockey, which he is not good at either. But while practicing or not practicing ice hockey, um, he sees a girl, Sakura, is her name? What's his name? I forgot his name. His name is Takuya. And um, he sees this girl uh, practicing ice skating like figure skating, and he is fascinated by what he sees, and basically he starts to do figure skating too, and the teacher who teaches Sakura will eventually start teaching him as well. So, so far the story, it's a very nice movie. It's a very beautiful movie. Now, my pet peeve, blue and orange, is very present in this movie, but it has a function. It's mostly in the winter time when we have, like, blue, like, cold and ice, and 
uh, orange like the sunlight uh, from the title so it makes sense and I was able to forgive the movie uh, even though they could have reduced this stuff in like magazines and clothes and nobody needs it nobody ever I, I saw this clip from Madame Web where someone got really angry because uh, the main actress has a Pepsi can and just is just fumbling around with it instead of opening and drinking it and I understand it's it's horrible to see her just just drinks a Pepsi. Pepsi is uh, not good for you, but at least it tastes good. Um, anyway, people got upset about that, and it's much worse that all the people in that scene are all all only dressed in blue and orange. It makes me go crazy. Here, it's a little bit uh, more reduced, and we switch to other color schemes. So, as uh, someone put some thought in it, obviously, and I'm a little bit uh, less angry about it. So, uh, But for a moment, I was very, very distracted. But yeah, this movie has different color schemes, let's say it like that. And um, some scenes just look like they are like pastel paintings it's so gorgeous the whole camera work is, is beautiful it's another movie in four to three which confused me again seems to be a very uh, popular format recently and um i don't know on what this film is shot but um, yeah it just just looks beautiful i would be surprised if it's actually shot on film um maybe i will research that and if i'm right i will put it here in the text or so um anyway so it's a very very gorgeous looking beautiful film it's not so focused on the language which makes sense because the protagonist the little boy um is this is what's the english word in german it's stottern um I will write it here. <laughs> and uh, so he, he can't speak well. And interestingly, very few people make fun of him. That happens maybe once. And uh, the girl who practices ice skating seems to be not amused by that. So she seems to kind of have some empathy and like him. So she, she seems like she's not... Uh, evil but um, yeah so far uh, the story will talk more about the story because here talking about the story is quite important for why the movie is good so we will talk about more in the spoiler section so far just it's a movie that gives you a very nice warm feeling in your tum tum and uh yeah, I, I sometimes watch uh, Simon Willer, Miller talk about wrestling, so I uh, got used to the warm and fuzzy feeling in uh, my tum tum. And um, yeah, anyway, so it's a very beautiful, very heartwarming film about a boy finding love for. It's never clear if he's in love with a girl or in love with ice skating. So that's one of the interesting points. Um, like I said, the film is not so focused on dialogue, not so focused on explaining what is happening. It just shows more, and that's very good. And you are a little bit more, like a little freer to, for your own interpretations, which, uh, yeah, makes a lot of uh, fun. And uh, yeah. Here, this relationship between the two kids and the trainer is very interesting. They all act very well. Seemingly, the kids got a lot of freedom while acting, as far as I understood. And, um, yeah, maybe that's another reason why it's not so dialogue-heavy to just uh, let them play the scenes more. Um, yeah, it is a very, like, harmonic nice beautiful and then it's not in a special way and it never really changes this tonality which makes the ending completely disturbing and uh, horrible and um, made many many people very very angry and i totally get that and it's uh, wow um 
we will talk about that. But I think it's handled in a very, very amazing manner. Something you don't see every time or all the time. Um, especially not in Japanese movies, which sometimes tend to explain too much. Um, I remember on the, at the uh, Nippon Connection, we sometimes joked about the Japanese uh, half hour. So basically, when we, the Western audience, feel that the movie is over, there's another like 30 minutes um, actually bringing everything to an end. And uh, it's more of a joke. It's not so... It's a, I mean, we have some, some different storytelling methods and stuff going on. And uh, yeah, I would agree. Usually at the end, there's more showing of the aftermath of the story than we would have in maybe Hollywood movies. But that's not a bad thing. It's just a little little joke. Don't, don't take it too seriously. Um, anyway, that doesn't happen here. Here it's a very strange, interesting way how they end it and um, very open. And I was really, really like, wow. They are not actually doing this, and they did it. And that's a very nice feeling to have every once in a while, even though it's upsetting and uh, makes you very angry in your little tum-tum, or in your little bit bigger tum-tum, depending on how large you are. Um, anyway, so I guess that's as much as I can say about this movie without spoiling too much. So it's a very, very good. I know they announced um release date in France, so at least there it will be uh, in cinemas soon. I would guess it will play quite some festivals. The aforementioned uh, Nippon Connection is probably very interested in this as well, and if there's a French distributor involved or a French production company, I guess they will try pretty hard to sell it abroad and it should be sold and celebrated and uh, people should really watch this movie because it's very good and tackles some uh, topics that are quite important and yeah with these words let's go into the spoiler zone um what we find out pretty soon uh, is that um, first our coach coaches the girl, Sakura, and he does it and he's like a coach. He's there and gives her advice and tells her what to do and that's totally fine. But when he discovers this boy who tries to emulate the movement, he seemingly gets very excited, probably more because uh, he gets reminded of his own youth and when he discovered ice skating. And um, yeah, so he gets a little bit of this excitement back and he uh, is suddenly a lot more focused on the boy, but he fixes the problem by letting them uh, skate together like a pair performance. And that seems to be totally fine for some time until the girl sees him with another man being very friendly. So he and this other man are living together. They're seemingly not a couple, but obviously pretty gay. And um, so her conclusion is once she's uh, jealous and um, second, yeah, she's uh, disgusted by what she sees. Um, I, I felt like she's maybe suggesting that he's uh, interested in that little boy in a more, um, let's say, uh, friendly manner. Um, yeah. And basically by these accusations and um, leaving uh, his uh, training, um, she basically ruins his life. He needs to move. And the movie is basically over like he moves away his life there is ruined um she had uh, an upcoming i think qualification for a competition with 
Takuya together and she didn't go there because of these issues. So basically she ruined his potential ice skating career too. And in the end we see her doing a great ice skating performance and yeah, nothing really happens to her. So the movie changes to spring. It's all very beautiful. There's not so much blue and orange and I'm very happy and um, we see them meeting again on the street and just when he starts to talk the movie cuts to black and that's it so it leaves it completely open what might happen here the thing is the boy Takuya he doesn't know what happened for him it's just something happened his trainer left and he uh, goes back to play ice hockey and other things and um, for her of course um, having this kind of negative uh, homophobic feelings is completely normal so she didn't do anything bad so, so she just follows her career path and probably becomes an amazing ice skater because why not there's nothing to stop her and um yeah there's a scene where they meet it doesn't really suggest any way it might turn i mean on the one hand uh, if he was actually in love with her maybe he will try to have a positive interaction and have a nice talk with her and maybe get closer again would be one option i mean she doesn't really hate him. They had a wonderful time together. They had a wonderful winter together. She hates the trainer. And now the trainer is back, so why wouldn't she talk to him? So that's one option. On the other hand, maybe he could be angry at her. He doesn't seem like someone who gets angry, but it would be another option. Or maybe he confronts her with what happened. And it's it's just all open and um, that's the depressing thing we must imagine she will not have to fear any consequences from her horrible behavior it's just uh, how the world goes you treat people badly based on biases and prejudices and things that you don't understand I believe this little teenage girl has no idea about homosexuality and what that means and uh, what feelings this man might have for anyone. Um, she probably doesn't understand that he get got more excited because maybe he sees himself in the boy. And um, yeah, it's just stuff that happens and um, nobody feels guilty, just the trainer is, so, yeah. Who cares, right? It's just a, a gay man whose life got destroyed. Uh, no, no big deal. Nothing we need to worry about. Now it's it's horrible how this movie ended, and um, yeah, but that's the thing. Um, it's horrible. It's disgusting. And the whole time, like any other movie, would give you some end where. She has some kind of idea. She has some kind of development. She gets smarter. She learns something. And uh, yeah, this sticks more to reality. And she doesn't learn anything. And she's Daisy, stupid human she is. And just uh, is successful with that. And yeah, that's uh, super interesting. Um, I guess it gets hopefully the reaction out of most people that uh, they should have by being like, why did this happen this way? Why uh, is his life destroyed? And uh, why? Just why? Why is society like that? And um, I like this approach. Um, maybe you watched the, move, uh, the, the video I did about... Uh, this what's the title the flower title karang kue i think 
which I felt like was in danger of being too didactic. I said an English word, I hope, or maybe uh, too preachy. It wasn't, it was fine in the end, it was all great. But um, here there, there's nothing like this. This movie doesn't try to teach you directly. Uh, it just shows you how society in most cases works. And that's not very uh, friendly, not very kind. Um, humans are not nice to each other. And uh, yeah, that's what we get here. And I think that's... Uh, especially with this presentation of still this when the kids walk through the town in the spring it's so beautiful it's so gorgeous everything is still wonderful the world doesn't care about this man it the world just stays as glorious as it was before and it just doesn't care and that just makes it more horrible i think this whole tonality just doesn't change. And, uh, yeah, all these uh, people have some experience that will stay with him, with them for hopefully forever. Or maybe for the teacher, not forever, but he will, he will remember. Um, but yeah, that maybe gives them some idea later. Maybe the girl will someday understand, oh my god, what did I do? And uh, maybe the boy finds some day out, and uh, yeah, but it's just just a really tragic story where one person does horrible things to two other people who didn't do anything wrong, like especially like the boy didn't do anything. Why does she punish him? Just yeah, because she must punish the evil teacher who doesn't give her the attention that she needs. And, oh, it just makes me furious, this, this ending. And, uh, yeah, like I said, that's the, the great part or the great point of this movie. It's just um, so horrifying and beautiful and cute at the same time. It really makes you sick. And uh, that's quite an achievement. I didn't see that coming at all. Like, after this, like, every movie has in the middle... Now you, you know the beat sheet, if you don't know. Maybe someday we should talk about the beat sheet. Um, I don't know, videos on YouTube probably who did that, uh, where people did that. But uh, why, why not? Someday we can talk about the beat sheet. Um, anyway, like the middle point is usually where the direction of the story changes. So usually it goes up, then you have some big issue and it goes down until at the end everything is nice and clear or it's the other way around everything goes down and then you have the big like break point and stuff get starts good to get better but here you have this point everything is wonderful everything is beautiful the three have the best time of their lives um they have the best winter ever the whole color scheme turns into a light pink and it's so gorgeous and beautiful to see these three together having fun and uh, yeah and then we have this crazy horrible event gets even worse when the mother comes to talk to him it's just uh, ugh. so you you see where the girl gets her ideas about a society uh, parents influence on their children it's just uh, Anyway, uh, yeah, here's the, this point where it changes, and usually, like I said, every movie would give you a scene, maybe, I don't know, the kids talk about it or something, or somehow she understands, oh my god, I treated this man in the wrong way, and now I understand what's actually, well, what actually happened, and then we have a nice happy end where everybody is good and happy until they die but no here it's just uh goes down and down and down and down and then the movie stops and that's it and uh wow i guess that's enough about this topic it's a really really great movie watch it if you can and uh, even though i spoiled it just experiencing this atmosphere and the beauty is um uh, thing in itself, uh, so go for it, watch it, enjoy, 
have a good time and um, <coughs> don't be like this girl or Mr. Ikematsu will turn into his character from Baby Assassins and uh, just murder everyone. Should have happened. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, have a nice uh, day. Be kind to people and uh, see you soon. <laughs>